Hi everyone, Lumaniac here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make my original Demeter bracelet. And this is the first design um, in my new original design series that is inspired by Greek mythology. And Demeter was the goddess of agriculture. And it was said that um, she was kind of in control of the seasons, and I thought these outside colors kind of look like summer colors, and the inside is like little spring flowers. So that was inspired um, by that. And this is the first one I did, and it was a little bit messy, I thought, in the center. So I changed some things and got this one. So this is what I'm going to be showing you how to make today, and it is reversible. And it looks good on both sides. This side um, has a zigzag that overlaps. But it does require three looms or seven pin bars. And I don't usually do a full wrap of my tutorials, but today I'm going to be because I really love this design. And you will need your loom to be set up in this configuration. So the first step is going to be to place the border, which I use red on this one here. But you can also use two colors. So if you want to do your horizontal color in a different color than your zigzag, that is fine too. So I went and got a bracelet where I did that. I used a different color for the border. Um, and this is a different design, but it uses the same border. So this is my most recent design. So you can see what it looks like a little bit different there. So first we'll place those. If we go from that center point out to the left. Follow that straight along the left. Go back to that center point and go off to the right. Now we're going to start kind of a unique pattern, and I will be using two colors for this. I'm going to use my pink jelly and my spearmint sweets. So you're going to do kind of two lengths of a zigzag like that, and then you'll go forward one. So it kind of makes a little triangle shape. So again, you'll continue two more lengths of a zigzag, and go forward one. If you're not doing a full wrap, then you'll want to do this until the third to last pin. But if you're doing a full wrap, I recommend going um, until you have 18 or 19 of these side lengths here. So if you're not doing a full wrap, then you would have stopped here, and you would go in towards the center. So I'm going to go ahead and stop there and show you how to do it on the right side as well. So it's the same way. You go inward, outward, and then forward. Oops, dropped a lot of bands there. one more time. So you're going to continue making those triangles all the way up until you have it your desired length, and I will be right back. Okay, so I've now gone all the way down my loom, and it should look like this whenever you get to the end. So whether you did a full, lap, full wrap or on one loom, it should look like that. And now we're going to be placing a single chain down the second and sixth bar pin rows. And I am going to be using my deep purple opaque. I'm just going to place it straight forward.
the six bar pin row, we do the same thing. And by the way, the bracelets that I'm wearing today is my cosmic bracelet on my left wrist. And on my right wrist is the Bollywood bracelet. And they're both my original designs with tutorials on my channel. So just placing these straight forward until we meet up with our perimeter. And now we're going to be placing kind of a unique zigzag shape. And for this I will be using my jelly pink again. So you're going to start on the second pin and you're going to go over to the second pin up in the third row. Just like that. And you'll do a horizontal band. Then stretch it out going parallel to that first band you placed. And then horizontal. So you're kind of making sevens going up. And you will do that all the way up that side. And on the right side, you'll do that same thing. So start on the um, sixth pin bar there, horizontal, inward, horizontal, and just, just continue that same pattern. So finish that all the way up both sides, and I'll be right back. Okay, so once you do that all the way up, this is what the end should look like. And now our next step is going to be to place this um, dark green inner perimeter sort of shape thing. <laughs> and it looks pretty much the same on both sides. So you can choose your color for that. And I'm going to be using Caribbean green, like I do in almost all my bracelets. And this pattern is a little bit weird at first, but hopefully it's not too difficult. So you'll go forward on this third pin, and forward on the fifth pin. And then you'll go inward, from both of those, and now we're going to go forward again, and then outward. So you should have a completed X there, and make sure that you place your single bands in between them. So now we go forward two, inward two, forward two, and for the looping it's very important that you place it in this pattern, so don't place your complete X and then place your singles. So place it outward, forward twice, inward twice, forward again, and then complete the X by going outward. And you're just doing that same pattern all the way up the loom. too time consuming. If you're doing it correctly then you should have these hexagon shapes in here. So now that you know how to do it, I'm going to go off screen and finish that up, because I just messed up right there. <laughs> so I'm going to go here. And then out. Okay. So now I'm going to go off screen, and I'll be right back with that finished. So here's where it should end, and that's what it should look like so far, if you've done it correctly. And now we're going to be placing starbursts in the center of all of these um, hexagon shapes we have. And I'll be using my deep purple and my sweets purple. So you go to the center pin, go off to the right, 
down to the right, downward to the left, and upward. So if you ever made a starburst bracelet before, then you're just doing it that same way. And since we're just looping out of cat bands, it's not um, super important that you do it in this order. You can kind of place them anyway, and you can loop them out, but it's easier if you do it a specific way each time. So now we are going to be placing triple wrapped cap bands on all of them, and um, you can just kind of take this band and you can wrap, oops, you can wrap it around once and then wrap it around again, or you can loop it over your hook. So you take your hook, wrap it around once, grab one end and wrap it again, and then you just kind of pull it down there and stretch it over. However you want to do it, that will keep your band um, a little bit tighter, it won't stretch it out so much if you do it on your hook. But it's up to you, so I'll do it one more time. It's kind of hard to grab all the links sometimes. There. Okay, so however you want to do it, do that on all of the center of the pins, and you also place one on the end here, and that can just be a regular double capped cap band. So I'll be right back with that finished. Okay, so all of those are placed and we're ready to loop. So just flip your loom around. And grab that hook. And you're going to go into this second cap band here. You're going to grab it and grab the top band and pull it back to itself. Grab the next one, pull it back to itself. And you're just going around there and always grab the top band and bring it back to its home pin. like that, go up to the next one, push back all three links to that cap band, and just pull them out from top to bottom, back to their home pins. Oops, I the wrong one there. So you don't link these starbursts together since we, um, are going to be looping other bands through them, that's what's going to hold it together, so you don't have to loop it just like in the Starburst bracelet. So hopefully you guys have the hang of it, if not you can rewind and rewatch, but um save time in the tutorial, I'm going to go off screen again, and I'll be right back with all of those looped out. Okay, so I've now looped those all the way up. And now we're going to come back down to here, and we're going to be looping out these um, Caribbean greens I have. But first, let's loop over two links of our perimeter. So loop one over to the left, and one over to the right. So now you're going to go to that third pin row, or pin row, loop one forward, Go over to the right side, grab that band, and pull it forward. Just like that. And now you're going to loop this into the center. 
Same thing on the right, loop it into the center. Now loop forward a link on both sides and loop it out. So we're doing it the same way that we placed it. We're looping one forward on each side, looping one in, then looping one forward, and then looping them out. So, so that means that um, since we have this band here, this next band we loop forward is going to catch only half of this band so that one half is going to be left overlapping so it looks a little bit different. It just makes it look a little bit nicer, I think. So now loop it forward. Loop it inward. Forward on both sides. Then outward. Then we start over, so I'll show you once more. Forward, inward, inward, forward, oops, make sure you got the right band. I was looking through my camera instead of actually at the bracelet. Okay, so you're going to continue that all the way up. So next you'll loop both of these forward, then loop inward, forward, and then outward. And you'll continue that pattern all the way up the loom, and I'll be right back to show you the next step. Okay, so this is what your end should look like. And now we're going to be looping forward these zigzags here. So you're going to go into this third bar pin row, push back those top three bands, grab that pink band, and pull it out towards the left. And you're going to loop in that um, horizontal band. Loop out that one. Loop inward. So you're going in a zigzag configuration as if it were on a um, in a regular zigzag shape. So you would do that all the way up, and I'll go ahead and show you how to do it on the right. Let's go into that pin, pull it out toward the right, and loop the horizontal back, back into the center. So you would just continue that up on both sides, and I'm going to go off screen, and I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so this is what it should look like, and now we're going to be looping forward these um, two single chains, but as we do, we're going to be flipping over the bottom zigzag band so that we have this overlapping look here. So first, you'll go into this third pin, loop over a perimeter, and same thing on the right. So that way we have kind of a cap band to loop those single chains out of. Let's go back in there, grab this single chain, loop it forward. So now whenever you loop one forward, you're going to go in from the side and grab just that bottom band, bring it over the top, and drop it. Now loop one forward. Go in from the side, grab just that bottom zigzag band, bring it over the top, and drop it. So you're continuing that up the loom. Forward and make sure you grab it from the side. And you would do that all the way up the left side, and I'll go ahead and show you how to do it on the right. It's the same way, you just loop one forward, and go from the outside, grab that bottom band, and flip it over the top and drop it. Bring it forward, loop one over. So you will go ahead and complete that on both sides, and I'll be right back. So here's what it should look like at the end. 
And now we're going to start looping up this perimeter. And it's pretty simple. First you're going to loop over the last part of that bottom perimeter. And now we're going to start looping these zigzags and single chains together. So you're going to go to this left side and loop forward that single chain. And you want to place those bands back on there. If you do have a tendency to pop off, so you might want to hold them down. Now grab this band, loop it inward, and loop this next one outward. So now this band is going to be overlapping that single chain since we've looped it that way. Next you'll loop forward to single chain. And loop two segments of that zigzag. And again, single chain. Two segments of the zigzag. So inward and then outward. So each time you loop your zigzag back onto the perimeter, um, the link underneath it should already be looped. And if not, then it won't give it that overlapping loop that it has at the end. Looping forward and loop the triangle part of the zigzag. So that's how you do it on the left. And then on the right, we do it the same way. First, loop forward a single. Loop the zigzag inward. And then outward. Forward. Inward. And then outward. Now I'll show you just a few more times. Um, I like to keep my tutorials short because they upload a lot easier. And um, also because um, some people have told me that if a tutorial is over... Um, 25 minutes, they don't like to watch it, so I like to keep them short if possible. But hopefully you understand the pattern, so I'm going to have you continue that all the way up the loom, and then I'll come back to show you how to close it off and clip it. Okay, so once you've looped it all the way up on the left and right, we can go ahead and close it by looping into the center. So you just grab that bottom one. and bring it to its home pin, into that point, go to the right side, close it up, and then you're going to need a C-clip, which I forgot to get, so I'll be right back. Okay, so now you'll want to take your perimeter color, and I've started pulling two bands through recently because on one of my favorite bracelets, the um, attachment band broke and it all unraveled. So you can use two just to be safe. Pull and then attach your C-clip to all of those bands. Possibly. <laughs> it's easier if you stretch them out on your fingers and then attach it. Okay. So now you'll want to carefully remove this one pin at a time with your hook. We don't have any band breakage. So here is the finished bracelet, and you might want to kind of stretch it out both ways just to get those um, bands to lay perfectly if they're not already. And I think it looks really nice. I love the color combo I used. I'm really happy I did a full wrap this time. So um, I hope you guys like this design. And if you make a rendition, please post on Instagram and tag me at Lumaniac. Or you can also post it on Facebook and tag me at Lumaniac Bracelets. Um, so if you like this tutorial, please subscribe and give it a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye.